All right, so the general golf swing, the way we move with our hips, turn into our lead side, release the club, get to a full finish, that's the same no matter what club you have in your bag from the tee and from the fairway. The difference is the setup and the launch. So with the driver, we're gonna play the ball further up in our stance, off our lead instep. We're gonna make sure our chest is behind the club head to promote a launch. Where players go off as they get their chest over the ball. All right, and that is not gonna promote a launch. It's gonna promote a level to slightly descending strike. And it also opens your shoulders, so you're most likely going to have a weak right shot or slice because your shoulders are too open. All right, so you got to really get your chest to be closed. All right, so yes, there are some setup differences and launch differences with these two clubs, your irons, hybrids, and your driver. All right, this is a shorter club. You can see the, the length difference. It's a lot shorter, so your ball position changes. With the irons, we want to strike down, slightly down. And with the driver, we want to hit up on it. All right, that's why we tee it up with the driver. Now, some key points with the driver, where I see a ton of players go off, a ton. All right, here our shoulder, here's our shoulder line. All right, where I see a ton of players go off with the driver, is that they put their chest over the ball all right and that opens the shoulder line all right what does open mean so from down the line the shoulders are open this arm is higher right players that put their chest on the ball they end up being open and that promotes a downward strike instead we got to get our chest behind the club head all right, and you can see what that does to my shoulder line. It's pointing slightly to the right. And that makes players uncomfortable. All right, but guess what? We need to swing out to the right. Players don't do it. They swing left. That's why it feels uncomfortable. All right, the other reason why it feels uncomfortable closing the chest is because you, you feel like the backswing's gonna be weird. All right, so I see players close their chest. They add a lot of side bend and then they kind of do this in the backswing when they get super flat. So it's kind of like, well, how am I going to make a turn in that position? All right, focus on the hip. All right, the shoulder line's still down. Get the hip to turn. All right, you're in this position, turn the hip. Your shoulder line is not going to be as down as with an iron. That's just a fact. All right, the shaft is longer. You're further away from it at setup because the shaft is longer. So if I get the six iron here, all right, you can see with a driver in an iron, look at the difference. So yes, you are going to be further away from the ball, all right, with, than with an iron. So that means your shoulder line in the backswing is gonna be a little flatter. It's not gonna be as down just because you're further away, all right? So it makes the swing a little bit more around your body versus up and down. Now with the iron, you're a lot closer to it. So when you rotate, your shoulder line is more down. So you can really see that with the shaft in my shirt. All right, so that's a really important point to understand. So it's set up, I mean, just a good rule of thumb, good hands length from the butt end of the shaft. Same thing with the driver, all right? But again, you're just further away from the ball. Because you're further away from the ball, the whole swing plane's a little flatter. All right, where players go off with the driver and the woods is they get too vertical. They get too vertical. And then they can't shallow the club on the downswing. So with the driver and the woods out in the fairway, you gotta really feel like it's a little bit more around your body. Around your body. So if I stood up straight and just swung, and then got in my posture. All right, that's the feeling you need to have more around your body, not vertical. All right, so if you're hitting a lot behind the ball with the driver, that's most likely what's happening. You're just too steep. You're not swinging more around your body. 
and most likely you're not swinging a little bit out to the right. All right, remember the, the golf swing is a circle. The golf swing is a circle. All right, the down part of the circle is a little bit out to the right before you turn the corner. All right, when players go off as they cut that corner and they swing into themselves. That's just a super popular culprit in the game of golf. Players don't understand why they need to swing out to the right, and that's why. So if you're not clear about this, leave a comment. I really want to get this clear so you can have better ball striking. All right, so again, with the driver, we're going to get our chest behind the ball. All right, so you can see what it does to the shoulder line. It creates a, an up angle so we can launch it. Here, where players go off, is it's too level. See, the shoulder line's too level and too open. Here, if you're perfectly right behind the ball or right on top of the ball, you're not open per se. You're kind of like in your seven iron posture. You may get the ball a little up, but you're not going to really launch it unless you hang back. All right, so that's an important point to understand. With an iron, with your irons, the ball from your pitching wedge to your seven is in the middle of your stance. All right, so your sternum is going to be right over the ball. All right, so players go off with their, with their irons and hybrids. Oh, my. Is they set up with too much weight in the front side. And they forward press. I see this a ton. All right, so your, your attack angle is actually going to be too steep. All right, it's going to be a challenge for you to shell the club. So what you want to do is just really get centered here. Ball's in the center from pitching wedge to seven iron. Because of that, the ball's in the center, your sternum is right over the ball. All right, so everything is nice and square. Just watch out for being open and watch out for too much forward press. I don't mind a little forward press, of course, but I see players overcooking it with too much weight on their front side. All right, so that's a really important point with your setup. Another popular culprit I see with the driver, I really see this a ton, is players that have too much weight on their front side, so they're like leaning forward and they're forward pressing. So I'm seeing this action. All right, you're gonna have a hard time launching this puppy. All right, you're gonna really strike down on this ball. Yeah, sorry. So you really need to keep your hands, the shaft, in line. You, you don't want to forward press with the driver. All right, so just keep it in line so you can deliver a beautiful launch. You don't want to strike down with the driver. All right, so you're gonna have a little bit more weight on your back leg. So 55 back here, 45 up front. With the iron, it's okay to have a little bit more weight on your front side, but just don't overcook it. 